Well, I thought it was time to do another review of a popular rap song, uh, a real banger, you might even say. Uh, and this one just dropped. It's it's that new. <laughs> it's uh, NBA Young Boy Around. I'm not actually sure where the rapper's name begins and ends here, um, but we'll just call him Young Boy for short. In any case, and I have to say, I'm a little worried that he's taken a stage name that sort of puts a time limit on things. You know, he can't be 46 years old and still called Young Boy. Um, it's kind of like I was worried back in the 90s when Lil Wayne first came on the scene that if he has a growth spurt, he'd have to change the name. Fortunately, he never did, so that kind of worked out. Anyway, let's get to the song. This is uh, a, a NBA Young Boy around, and let's uh, let's watch it together. Who made this? Who made this? Made it beat. Made it beat. Okay, just quickly, just got to stop it here. I have to say, and listen, I'm, I, 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 I fully, fully admit and accept that Young Boy is way cooler than me. Orders of magnitude, you know. But I just, I wonder about this dance move. He's doing this. What, 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 what does this mean? This means nothing. And, and, and this is a, and there's no way that this is okay. This, you can't go to the club and do this. I've never been to a club, but I'm pretty sure if I'm at the club doing this, I'd get shot. I, that's, that's the assumption I make. Uh, and I, so I'm concerned now. I'm concerned about young boy. He looks like a large flightless bird um, or an escaped mental patient. And I'm concerned that young boy will keep dancing like this and, and no one will tell him to stop. And so I'm worried about him now. That's that's the feeling that I have, but let's uh, let's get back to the song. Okay, I got to stop it again, um, and I'm sorry to keep focusing on these kinds of details. But if we can look at the freeze frame here, I'm confused a little bit about what's going on here. You've got young boy in his garage with a nice car. Okay, I get that. And if I had a car like that, I'd spend a lot of time in my garage too. No, no question. And he's in a swing. All right. He put, he put up a swing in his garage. No problem there. It's a little weird, but fine. But what, what's happening with the couch in the back? It looks like an all-white couch that someone's scribbled all over. Um, it looks like my couch is at home, honestly. I have four kids, and we actually bought a white couch for some reason. And that's what my kids do to couches. So have my kids been hanging out with young boy? That's what I'm wondering now. If so, that's a problem because I've told them that they cannot chill in a rapper's crib and smoke blunts until they're at least 12 or 13. That's, that's the, I don't know how many times I've given that speech. Um, anyway, let's get back to, let's, get, let's really get to the meat of this song. Now, I, want, I want to hear what young boy wants to tell me. So I'm going to stop focusing on the frivolous details. Let's listen to the message now. I go playing games. They take out my fashion, strap inside my jacket. I just said a prep for my I said, let's go get active. You get when they cash in. I just let the top down, show them this massive. I pull up on Fritz's. I look like a man. Dope inside my coat got me so dumb that I might need a nanny. And she just Ellie, my. This is where Young Boy is bringing to the surface many of his deepest fears and hopes, anxieties exposing his very soul to the world, exposing so many other things, especially with his pants pulled down that far. So listen to what he says here. Uh, a, check out my fashion, strapped inside my jacket. I just said a prayer for Bad Bad, say, let's go get active. Geekin' when they cash in, I just let the top down. Show them the massive. I pull up, fresh as I look like a manic. Dope inside my coat got me so dumb, that I might need a nanny. Let's focus on just those last two lines again. Because he says, I pull up fresh as a I look like a manic. Dope inside my coat got me so dumb that I might need a nanny. So there's something almost Freudian going on here, I feel like. I, I can tell that young boy has been studying some of the early 20th century psychoanalysts, applying their insights to his own life. And here he is yearning for the maternal. You know, he says, I need a nanny. I need a mother figure, a caretaker. Uh, this world's a great burden for me. I feel out of place, vulnerable. Yet at the same time, he realizes that he's fresh. You know, he's even fresh as 
And, and, and this is his recognition of his own innocence. And this is really fascinating. Young boy here is exploring the great tension of youth. Um, that is, the young will cling to their innocence, to their childhood, while at the same time desiring the very freedom and independence that will lead ultimately to their corruption. And notice the insecurity too, because he says, dope inside my coat. So he, what does he say? He feels like a dope when he wears his coat. Uh, maybe it's, it's a few sizes too big. He doesn't, he doesn't think it looks good is what he's trying to say. And these are the concerns of youth, childlike concerns. And maybe that's what the swing is all about because the swing and, and the car. So you see the disparity between the desires of youth for volatility and play represented by the swing against the desires of adulthood, materialism, greed, represented by the car. And behind him, yes, behind him is, is the couch covered in scribbles, and this represents confusion. It's his, it's his internal struggle, the war between the two competing psychological forces. Just stunning. I mean, this is absolutely stunning um, that he's, he's, he's gotten this deep already. Let's, let's, keep, let's keep listening. What the hell am I going to feed? I think all these trying to feed. Swing it like that they don't know. Come shots that off is tangible. Bro, on two teams. All he won't do is play some shit. Paul Barry mad at us. We stepped on him. Let's hang a shit. Ooh, one and ten. I got one. Right. I be fresh as hell. You know this, this, that thing. I say, baby, run and run. Run and run. Shawty, let me hear you say my name. Hey, I'm rich. Plus, I'm super lit. Now she wanna make me out her man. That's a Drake. With a cooling kit. I gon' start this Playing games. Uh, I just want to stop here for a second and tell you about uh, my bookie. You know, it's betting season at my bookie. Nothing makes an event or a game more exciting than putting some money on it. And with the NFL season, of course, in full swing, it's a great time to get in on the action. Sometimes you have a gut feeling about a matchup. Sometimes you're just betting on your team because they're your team. That's been my strategy. Maybe not the best one. Regardless, whether you've been betting for years or you're, you're, you're ready to play for the first time, my bookie is your go-to this season. Head over to my bookie to create an account. Just use promo code Walsh to claim your 100% deposit match all the way up to $1,000. That means if you put $100 in, they'll give you $100, and it's an easy way to jumpstart your bankroll. NFL, NBA, MLB, everything else, they've got it all on tap, and it's never too late to start on your winning season only at MyBookie. So let's listen to these lyrics again, if you didn't catch it the first time. Who won a team? I got money. I'd be fresh as hell loaded. This, that thing. I say, baby, round and round, round and round. Shoddy, let me hear you say my name. Hey, I'm rich, plus I'm super lit. Now she want to make me all her man. So we confront here again this, this theme of inner turmoil, right? Round and round. You can hear the pain in his voice. But then he says, Shoddy, let me hear you say my name. So this is ultimately what young boy wants from the world. It's what all young boys want from the world, to be acknowledged, right? To be known, uh, to, to feel his existence validated by the recognition of others. It's a natural desire, it's a common pursuit, but ultimately empty. And that's where I think this will lead in the conclusion to this epic. Um, I think it's leading maybe to tragedy. Let's listen. Billy Siago, whenever I step out, I cover my new hoe and new Chanel. I stay with my father, my cow's hell. I shoot this bitch around the car 12. Doug Vader. It's a jet ass eat. I try to take out once I face him in this Ablo fit. I should change my name to double law. Cause I'm really rich. On that silly shit. Come to this. Inside this business. Killing shit. Ooh, I'm in 10. I got one. I be fresh as hell. Loaded. This that thing. I say, baby. Run and run. Run and run. Shout it. Let me hear you say my name. Hey, I'm rich. Plus, I'm super lit. And we, and we get the guy pointing guns at the camera. I was, I was afraid we wouldn't get that in this, this video. Listen to the lyrics. He says, I try to take off once I face him. In this Ablo fit, I just changed my name to Double Long because I'm really rich. N-words on that silly come to this. Inside the business, killing And this brings us to the end of the saga because it is in the end a Greek tragedy, which is exactly what I thought. Or more reminiscent maybe of 19th century Russian literature, Shades of Dostoevsky, uh, Crime and Punishment. Young boy playing the role of, of course, Raskolnikov, um, choosing corruption in the end. You know, he chooses sin. He sheds the shell of youth. He breaks free from its innocence, its purity. And suddenly he has no time, he says, for that silly shit. The frivolity and playfulness of youth, he rejects it. Um, I'm not young boy, he says. I'm young man. But for him to stake his claim in the world, to make his own mark, to achieve the recognition that he believes he's owed, that he indeed believes he needs, 
he must descend into brutality, inside the business killing And again, you could tell the young boy has studied Dostoevsky. This is the beginning of Crime and Punishment, where Oskonokov kills the old woman, kills her to be free, but he finds himself instead locked in a prison of guilt because he can't escape his own moral sense. He cannot be the amoral heathen he wants to be. So young boy here with this jam is, is giving us the prelude. There's a whole story still left to be told. A chance even for a happy ending, ultimately. But that's a story for another day. One yet to be told. Stay tuned. I know I will. Young boy has announced himself as another of our generation's great poets. A man who stands beside the greats, you know, Edgar Allan Poe, Walt Whitman, Takashi 6ix9ine. Um, I can't wait to hear the next story he tells you.